So it's the morning of day two here in the Smoky Mountains, and I'm right back this morning where I ended last night, uh, right by this river with the beautiful rocks and the white water and the um, dogwood branch sort of arching over. And I really like that image. And so it was a little bit uh, more calm this morning. So I wanted to try that again. And I think I did a little bit better. Uh, it's a little uh, more calm. And uh, I think I was probably able to get a couple images w without much motion. Uh, the light was coming from a different direction. I had some shine on the water. So I had to add a polarizer that I didn't need last night. Um, but it worked out OK. So, but while I was doing that, uh, it started to rain and the wind picked up again. So now I'm sitting in the car and it's raining and uh, which is what the forecast has been now for several days that, that this was going to happen. So the plan now is just to drive around and see what subjects I can find. Um, sometimes you can photograph from the rain if it's kind of light. It's not bad. Uh, definitely makes the foliage look saturated and that's really nice. So. Um, I'm enjoying being here and just looking for subjects and uh, watching the foliage change. It, it actually seems a little more green and nice this morning, although it did rain overnight, so that, that saturation happens with the, with the rain, which is nice. So anyway, as the rain continues to fall, I'll just be driving around to see what I can find uh, for the rest of the day. And hopefully if I find some subjects, I'll be able to uh, bring you along on that and show you what happens. But anyway, now it's time to get moving and see what I can find. Well, I'm really happy with this image. I wish I'd been able to capture it on film, but I had some light leak problems. And we'll talk more about that later. So with the Pentax, I was able to get a nice image here. And I shot a lot of different pictures of it. The issue is with the little standing waves in the left-hand side of the picture. So was just choosing among the different choices and finding one where those standing waves look most pleasing. And so I found one that I think I'm pretty happy with and I really like the soft, gentle uh, rain and the way the colors are saturated and that's a pretty nice look. It's a lot more warm than the uh, day one image which was under a blue sky and that one therefore rendered a little bit more blue which I did color correct a little but they still look different. I'd be interested to know which one you think might be best. And while I was in that same location, I had to try a more abstract image of the same subject, just focusing in on that uh, small light colored rock, which really is kind of the center of the picture, and then the nice motion blur water surrounding it. So it's a nice little detail that I'm very happy with. So I was finally able to get a break in the rain and the wind and set up a really neat composition right back here. Uh, as always happens when you've had some rain, the leaves are just glowing, that foliage looks so good and it's a nice arrangement of, of leaves and branches there and I was able to expose a few sheets of uh, Provia 100 on it and uh, I can't wait to see how it looks. I'm really excited about this one right here. So here's the view under the dark cloth. Holding the camera upside down so you can see it. So I got really lucky here because the sun's coming out now and it's starting to be windy. So I was able to get this one when it was nice soft light and, and real still. And uh, yeah, I just love the, the curves of the trunks and the way some of the branches curve in and out. And, um, uh, hopefully this is going to turn out really, really nice. Uh, I got really soaked earlier today working on things and I uh, couldn't really film while I was doing it, but uh, this is nice because it finally stopped raining and so it's nice to work in those conditions. So anyway, uh, this is better, it's looking up, uh, the weather is, and so uh, because we have some high clouds, the sun is, is sort of still going in and out. And so if I can find some more subjects to set up on, I think I'll still be able to make some pictures today. So this is great. So more exploring and I'm ready to get going. So this is one of my favorite images of the trip. 
And you could see in the video here that I had initially set up a horizontal composition, but I also did a vertical, and, which I didn't film, but I found that I really liked the vertical much better. There was kind of a lot of dead space on the right there in the horizontal, and the, the vertical picture sort of fixes that, and I think it's a much nicer picture. I really like how all the elements work together and sort of the branches are coming in and the moss or the yeah moss is wrapping around and the vines wrapping around and everything just kind of curves in toward the center and I think this one really has a story to tell with that central tree with almost like arm kind of branches reaching out touching the other two trees I'm not sure exactly what that story is but but I think there's one there so I did have a small little light leak down in the lower right but I ended up just cropping that out anyway to get my final version of this image and I'm very very happy with this picture I think it's one of the best of the trip and really is just a, a beautiful classic Smokies forest detail So I just finished photographing this scene behind me and I was using the, uh, the Toho camera and I was able to expose both some Ektar and some Provia. The Ektar is probably a little better because the contrast is pretty, pretty great here. Uh, I also captured it on the Pentax, so we'll see uh, which comes out better. Uh, hopefully the film will be nice as well. And uh, I was again lucky to have really still conditions here and uh, the sun is coming in and out, but of course I, I made my exposures while the sun was behind a cloud. So hopefully these will come out nice. And now it's on to the next subject. So here's another streamside tree image. And this one is interesting because it has these rocks in the middle that are sort of splitting the river in two. And I was able to capture it when the sun was behind a cloud, so it's a fairly soft image and unfortunately I had some light leaks on the film and so I had to use the images from the Pentax but it handled the scene just fine. Now the dynamic range wasn't too much and I was able to hold detail in the water. So it's a nice picture. It's not my favorite one from the trip but I'm glad I've got it. It's a nice arrangement with the tree and the water and the rocks and it's again very representative of this area of the Smokies. So here's a spot I've photographed a number of times over the years, uh, this grouping of trees behind me here. Uh, I've always photographed them when they were bare or almost bare. I really like how graphic it is and it's fun to revisit a scene like this over and over in different seasons to see how it's changed. Finding redbud and dogwood together in the same image is one of the things I always look for in the Smokies. I think they make a really nice combination, and I'm always happy when I can find that. And this one was just in one of the parking lots of one of the visitor centers. It wasn't too difficult to find, but I did have to position myself fairly far away from this little grouping in order to keep the sky out of the image and get the arrangement I wanted. Therefore, I needed a much longer lens than I had for the 4x5, so I was using the Pentax. But I really like the arrangement here and the soft light, and I'm very, very happy with this image. Then, from the same parking lot at the same visitor center, I was able to find another image. This one's just red bud, but I really like the way these two trees sort of diverge and sort of contain the uh, the red bud blossoms and also has a nice uh, soft sunlit uh, backlight there wrapping around the branches and the little ferns there growing up the trunks and I thought that was very nice 
And this one I was able to get close enough and get a pleasing arrangement, so I was able to capture that one on Provia. And it uh, handles the, the scene very well. The brightness range is, is perfect for the film. And I think this is a really nice picture. And for the last picture of the day, I was able to find an interesting twisted tree with a little bit of red bud in the corner. And I just like the shape and arrangement of this tree and the branches that are kind of crazy and uh, still in not soft, nice light. And it's right on the edge of the river. It was kind of per perched precariously there on the edge of the river. It was kind of a steep drop off and where I had to position the camera was such that I really couldn't even get around to the front of the camera so I couldn't use my view camera so I ended up with the Pentax on this and I think it's a really nice little soft detail which if you can see the theme from what I've worked on this day it's the kind of thing I like a lot and I was really fortunate to find quite a number of scenes on day two just like that. Well that's it for day two and coming up on day three the weather turned a bit for the worse, uh, quite a bit of wind and rain, and there were some road closures, but that led to some interesting conditions. I had some beautiful fog, and I was able to be up on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So it was a great day, and I look forward to sharing that one with you. If you're enjoying what you're seeing on this channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps, and I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.